Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Welcome one and all to this edition of the PBA brought to you by Triangle by 1891. I am Jimmy Berger and I'll be calling the action for you. From Arlington, Texas, the home team Better Late Than Never Ballers take on the Dallas-Fort Worth Just Hoops squad who happen to be on a two-game losing streak looking to get it going here against the Ballers. And the Ballers have split the last two games going one and one. Before we get to the action though, the starting lineups, first the away team Dallas-Fort Worth Just Hoops. At point guard, number one, D.K. Eldridge. At shooting guard, number four, Jonathan Milligan. At small forward, number seven, Cedric Harris. At power forward, number 35, Mohamed Shabazz. And playing center today will be William Ransom, number eight. And for the ballers, the starting point guard is number seven, Derek Williams. The starting shooting guard, number 21, Dyron Anderson. Number 15, Stevie K, will be playing small forward. Number one, Daniel Williams, is in at the power forward spot. And playing center, number 25, Spencer McElway. Getting ready for tip off here. All we're waiting for is for everybody to get set. And there's the whistle. And the tip is up, controlled by the ballers. Anderson with it now, tries to find a lane, leaves it up top for Derek Williams, who looks around, gets it over to Stevie K, gets it back on this left side wing, uses the pick. He leaves it for McElway for that long two point shot. No good. Rebound Cedric Harris. DK Williams handles at the top of the key. Uses that pick from Shabazz. Shabazz over to Ransom in the low block. Up and under and two points for just hoops. First points on the board. And Stevie K leaves it for Anderson. Gets it back. Nice footwork in the paint. No good on the shot. Gets his own rebound. And cross court for Derek Williams over to Anderson, top of the key, three-point shot, high rebound. That one again for Cedric Harris. And Milligan directing traffic, gets it over to Cedric Harris for a long three-point shot, no good. Another high rebound, that one for McElway. And here comes Williams, almost loses it, calls for the pick, gets it over to Anderson floater in the lane and that one will drop for him two points for the ballers Eldridge handles across half court over to the corner Cedric Harris faked like he was gonna shoot Shabazz on the low block puts up a little fadeaway shot and that one drops for him two more points for the hoops just hoops and Daniel Williams Gets all the way to the rack, and that one will fall for him. Tie game. Eldridge has to protect it. Uses that pick eventually. Anderson pressuring, and then Eldridge loses the ball. And the breakaway flush. That is for Stevie K. Inbounds to Eldridge. Protects that ball once more as he crosses the half-court line. He uses a pick from Shabazz, gets down into the lane. Back up top for Milligan, shoots the three, no good. And eventually that rebound for Williams. Top of the key, Williams gets into the lane, stops. Gets the shot up, but with a whistle, he'll take some contact and he will go to the line for two. 
There are a lot of Williams over here on this Ballers team. This one here is Derek Williams. We also have Daniel Williams in the game. But there's uh, TJ Williams Jr. And that first shot is good. So if you hear me saying Williams a lot, that's the reason why. There is more than one player out there with Williams on their jersey. And the second shot is up and good for him. So two more points for the Ballers. And Milligan has it. Top of the key. Cedric Harris. Stop and pop at the top of the key. And two points. Daniel Williams with it. Gets right down into the lane once more. And eventually a putback. I'm not sure if that was Williams or if that was McElway. Milligan with it over to Eldridge gets down inside and the rebound couldn't be corralled that'll be out of bounds on the ballers possession remains with just hoops inbound to ransom being pressured here he's using that pivot looking around tries to get the ball into the lane and it's slapped away K with it and it gets intercepted and wow there's no quit in that play that was milligan credited with the steal and then the assist to cedric harris here comes derrick williams now crossing half court milligan picking him up harris gets it back tries to float it to williams in the lane and it gets slapped away eventually anderson comes up with it and gets it down into the low block for williams who is fouled on the play. A three-point play attempt coming up here. As soon as everyone gets set. 12 to eight. Baller still in the lead here. And Daniel Williams will take his first shot. It's up and good. The and one conversion there for Daniel Williams. Anderson pressuring in the backcourt right away. Milligan fighting his way past half court. Finds the lane and that'll be a foul on McElway. Milligan will see his first shots at the stripe. He played uh, in Pittsburgh for his college years all the way up until 2018 and in the last season playing in the TBL for Raleigh he averaged 14 points a game uh, from the free throw line as this first one is up and falls from the free throw line he shoots 87 percent so a decent free throw shooter here and champ Grayson will check into the game as ransom sits here comes the second shot for Milligan and that one's good And Derek Williams pressured by Milligan. He protects that ball, uses that pick. Over to K. Puts up a three point shot, and that one will go down. Three points for the Ballers. Eldridge with it, uses that pick. Long three point shot, no good. Derek Williams. Tries to get it into the lane, loses it in transition. Cedric Harris with the three-point shot, and that one falls for him. Oh, that may have been a long two. Sorry about that. Anderson with it. Brings it past half court. Eldridge picks him up. And Anderson gets it back on the left wing. Circus shot, no good. Out McElway puts it right back in, though. Eldridge, Shabazz on the right side, long two-point shot, no good, and rebound for McElway. Daniel Williams, I'm sorry, that was Anderson, he left it for Daniel Williams in the corner, no good on that three. Milligan controlling, and 
Cedric Harris fakes the shot at the top of the key. Grayson tries to dump it down for Shabazz, and Milligan eventually gets that shot to fall. Anderson, hard pass. No, it, it could not get uh, controlled by Daniel Williams there. It'll be out of bounds, and we'll have a stoppage in play with 4.06 left to go in the game, 18 to 14, 18 to 15. That one two-point shot may have been a three-point shot as we get a shot of the scoreboard here in the gym. Coming back from this timeout now. Champ Grayson is in the game. That's number six for just hoops. He inbounds it to Jonathan Milligan. And Eldridge dumps it down into the post for Cedric Harris, who puts away that fadeaway shot. Derek Williams over to K at the top of the key. Steps to the side, shoots a three. That one clangs off the rim on that left side. And down court with a quickness, Shabazz on that right side. Champ Grayson puts the ball on the floor, loses it out of bounds. And it's the baller's ball. Derek Williams pressured at the half court. Left wing for Daniel Williams. Puts the ball on the floor. Kicks it out to the baseline. Williams, Derek Williams gets it over to K. Tries to get that floater up. I think it may have been blocked or he tried to pass it. But eventually the ball gets tied up at the three-point line there between... That is Champ Grayson and... Walton, I believe. Cortland Walton. Tour be lit, first of all, to even be on tour, you got to be... You gotta be one of the one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. Been to Boston. Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like fast and furious, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special and you see it and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this is the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people and it's fun. Jonathan Milligan crosses half court. That's TJ Williams Jr. with the ball. He's in the game now. He leaves it for Milligan. Controls at the top of the key. Tries to use that spin stop and he could not put it up. Williams Jr. back over to Milligan for three. No good. A little strong there. Rebound for Daniel Williams. And here comes Derek Williams. McElway on the low block there. Up and under, no good. And rebound Shabazz. Shot from just inside the free throw stripe there. That's TJ Williams Jr. And Walton with the take, no good. Put back, no good. McElway loses it underneath. And here comes just hoops. Milligan over to the corner for Eldridge and he'll step out of bounds trying to take that from the baseline. Baller's ball. And K sits and now Joshua Swearington in the game with the ball now. Gets right down into the lane there and then draws a foul. 
So he'll step to the line. I will call out the substitutions as I see them here. First shot from Swearington is good. And Milligan sits, Champ Grayson sits, and Shabazz sits. Swearington misses that second shot. And TJ Williams Jr. with it now. And they lose it. Swearington all the way back in transition. Easy bucket. Eldridge controls the ball now. Pressured by Swearington. Gets it over to TJ Williams Jr. Shot is up from three. No good. Rebound for Daniel Williams. Goes coast to coast. Misses that shot hard off of the front of the rim. And it'll go out of bounds eventually here. Chris Garcia is in the game. Number 11 for Just Hoops. Cedric Webb, number 5 for Just Hoops, is in the game. And we're going to have a quick timeout. 21 to 19, ballers. We're back now. We do have some substitutions in the game. I will call them out as I see them. Swearington, of course, is still in the game. This time we're seeing Dade as he passes it back for Eldridge, taking that three point shot. Missed it. Here comes Jobert with it. First time seeing him in the game, and we'll lose it out of bounds here. Who's that off of? It looks like it'll stay with the ballers. We have Xavier Johnson in the game. Cortland Walton is in the game, and out of bounds one more time. Staying with the ballers. We have Chris Garcia, number 11, in for just hoops. Along with Dade. And Swearington gets all the way to the basket. It rattles in for him eventually. And ahead for Eldridge. Kicks it over and lots of contact in the lane there. Javas or Yavas Dade, forgive me, sir. Mr. Dade will step to the line for two. <clears throat> As I've said, uh, number five for just hoops, Cedric Webb is in the game. First shot for Dade will go down for him. And I'm trying to see if there are any more substitutions here. Second shot from the front of the rim to the back of the rim, no good. And eventually a stoppage in play. Walton with that rebound. And we'll have an inbounds from, from the sideline. Xavier Johnson will take the ball here as he's tucking his jersey. Here we go. And over to Anderson. Puts the ball on the floor. Gets down to the lane, but blocked away by Garcia. And Eldridge lobs that one up there for Williams Jr. And that play will send it back the other way. Here comes the ballers down low right to Walton. And lots of contact down there. We'll have some whistles and Walton will step to the line. Here comes the first shot for Walton. Cortland Walton. And that one's good. <clears throat> Second shot, in and out. Eldridge with that rebound. He controls the ball. Tosses it past half court to beat the pressure. Williams Jr. in the lane. Little floater and it goes in. Swearington pushes the ball up. Jobert for the long two. No good. And that rebound for Williams Jr. And Swearington with a little Euro step, and that, that one drops. That was a pretty little take to the rim there with lots of pressure on him. 
Cedric Webb pushes the ball over, and he keeps it alive after that shot from Dade that missed, but Anderson puts up the shot. Garcia controls the ball, rebound Williams Jr., kicks it all the way back into the corner, three-point shot no good. That from Cedric Webb. Up and over the backboard, out of bounds with three seconds left to go. Another inbounds from the sideline over there. Xavier Johnson takes it. Half court shot. No good as time expires. 28 to 21. The ballers lead this one after one quarter. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Italian Twine offer detail and luxury with styles for both men and women. I love them. Clean, go good with suits like you say. Two young brothers, HBCU grads. It's called Italian Twine. It's just a black-owned watch company. And you know, I just, I'd like to support all black everything. Also, uh, shout out to Italian Twine for this amazing watch. This is the one my wife got me. Love this watch, one of my favorite pieces. I always been in the watch, always been collecting watches, man. And I really like this. The Virginia-based company, founded in 2014, has been featured in Men's Health, The Rob Report, Black Enterprise, Huffington Post, New York Magazine, Cosmopolitan, and more. The actual band is interchangeable. This is a fire brand, dope watch, man. Here we go with the start of quarter number two. Milligan passes it over to Eldridge. Using that pick, Ransom hits the lane. And Eldridge puts up the shot from the elbow, no good. Here comes McElway running the break and he gets stopped up in the lane there. Tangled up and the steal from Anderson puts it back two points, two points for the uh, ballers. And Milligan is directing traffic. Ransom takes it at the top of the key. Over to Eldridge. And Williams Jr. takes the three-point shot. No good. Ransom tries to keep it alive, but Milligan, causing havoc on defense here, gets the ball right back, dumps it down low for Ransom. Easy bucket. And Derek Williams controls. He gets it back on that right wing. Long three-point shot off the front of the rim. And that's a rebound for Dade. And Williams Jr. gets into the lane. Rebound for Dade again. Puts back. No good. And lots of contact down there. Dade will take a shot to the face, but the foul is on the hoops, just hoops. And we'll inbound from the sideline now. Williams to Anderson, and then Anderson dumps it off to Kay. Kay on the left side wing, puts the dribble on. Puts up about a 10 foot shot from the baseline and that one will air ball too strong. Here comes Just Hoops in the lane and Milligan will score two points in the lane there. Forcing the ball up front. McElway gets stuffed first but then the putback. Eldridge controls at half court. And Milligan tries to pick and roll, but gives it off to Ransom. They eventually wheel it around to the corner. That three-point shot will fall from TJ Ju Williams Jr. K controls. Gives it to Anderson, three-pointer. 
High and long rebound for Just Hoops. Dade passes over to Williams Jr. Puts the ball on the floor. Gets in the lane. Kicks it out. And Milligan drops the three. And McElway with it. Backing down. Kicks it out for K. Dribbles over. Daniel Williams. Gives it back to Derek Williams. And K cannot handle that pass. Out of bounds to just hoops. 32 to 31. It's been a busy second quarter so far. Milligan takes the inbound. And gives it back to Eldridge. Right side wing. Pick from Ransom. Gets down into the paint. Three point shot in the corner. And Williams Jr. again. I'd say he's got the hot hand right about now. K almost loses it at the top of the key. Lots of pressure double teamed. And eventually he does lose it. Williams Jr. Euro step misses. And Eldridge on the putback. And we're going to have another stoppage. 32 to 36. Ballers. 627 left to go in the second quarter. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We have some more substitutions to talk about. And Eddie Sims is in the game right now. He gets it back at the top of the key. McElway tries to put the ball on the floor, loses it right away. Derek Williams ends up with it. Gets it down into the paint, and McElway misses. The putback missed, and they come up with nothing. Here comes Milligan. Keeps the ball, puts it on the floor, kicks it out. That's Eldridge over there. He's backing down on Derek Williams. Tries to get it to Ransom in the paint, and that's a strong pass. It's going to stay with just hoops. I didn't see who touched it. And the inbounds to Eldridge. He doesn't use that pick. He slips in the lane there. Out to Williams Jr. He gets into the lane though. Little finger roll. Nothing there. And a whistle in transition here. We'll see what happened in just a second. It's going to stay with the ballers. And inbound to Derek Williams. Uses that pick. Back to McElway in the, in the paint. Spin move and finally gets one to go down there. Milligan, top of the key, passes it over to Williams Jr. Down to Ransom in the low block, but he doesn't get it. It's back out to Williams Jr., finally gets it, gives it back, puts on the ball fakes, and Dade finally comes up with something. And now we have number 13 in the game. I'm not sure who that is. I don't have that on the roster here. Eldridge with it. Kicks it back for Ransom at the top of the key. Back to Eldridge. Puts the ball on the floor. In the lane. Draws the whistle. And that one almost rolled in, but it rolled out. So DK Eldridge will step to the line. He spent four years at New Mexico State as an Aggie. And we're going to have a quick stop here. 36 to 38. Whoa! Personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50 yard line. This is the waterproof lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful. 
hit gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not taking it. Get yours at manscaped.com. Four twenty-five left to play, and we're gonna have foul shots for DK Eldridge for just hoops. As I was trying to say before, he played for New Mexico State. His former head coach says that uh, DK learned and grew a lot as a leader in his four years. And then went on to describe him as a coach on the floor. Second shot, that one will fall. And just hoops, leads by three. 4.23 left to go in the, in the half. And that shot no good from Eddie Sims. McElway loses the defender. Can't get the shot. They wheel it around. Sims over to, I believe that was Anderson on that missed shot. McElway with the offensive rebound again. Finally gets it to go up and up. He, he went over the defense that time. A little hook shot in the lane. Williams Jr., he uses the pick from Shabazz over to Eldridge, and he gets stripped away. Anderson gives it to Sims and the easy bucket. It's back and forth now. The ballers lead by one. Milligan controlling the ball, top of the key, finds the lane, and blocked away. That may, I think that was... Yeah, I think that was Daniel Williams on the block. It wasn't a block, though. It looks like it was goaltend. Sims ins inbounds to Williams. <clears throat> Eddie Sims, top of the key, gets into the lane. Lots of pressure there. No call. And... Milligan almost loses it at the top of the key. Eldridge steps back for the three. Does not go down for him. Dade on the offensive rebound. Tries to get it back up and keeps the ball. Gets it over to Williams Jr. Back to Dade. Puts the ball on the floor. McElway pressures him good. And almost intercepted by Sims. Eldridge with it. Right side wing, puts up the three-point shot, no good. And McElway comes up with the rebound. Tries to go coast to coast. Leaves a little floater, and that looks like that'll be goaltend. 2.23 left to play in the second quarter. 42-41. to 41. It's been a good game so far. I have no reason to believe that this isn't going to be a nail-biter all the way to the end. And the inbound to Milligan. Swearington in the game now. Shabazz, right side, tries to put up a shot and that's blocked away. Three-pointer from Williams, no good. Just hoops with it now. Date over on the far left side. Long two-pointer, no good. Milligan with the putback. <coughs> Swearington brings it past half court. Three-point shot in and out. Dade with that rebound. And here comes Eldridge. It gives it up to Milligan. Crossing half court. Johnson picks him up. Shot no good. Swearington will lose it out of bounds. And that'll stay with just hoops. Closing minutes of the second quarter. And just hoops is up by one. Inbounds and now Eldridge has it. 
Shabazz on the pick. Eldridge puts up the shot from the baseline. Good 11, 12 foot shot. And McElroy with the finish at the other end, beating everybody back. McElway. I'm sorry about that. Milligan at the top of the key, waiting for his pick and no go. Dumped down into the low block now. That's Eldridge. He loses it. And the transition was a little bit too fast for their own good. They lose it. And Eldridge puts up the, no the non-contested shot. And... 43 seconds left to go in the second quarter. 47 to 44. Just hoops. 45 seconds. They'll put some time back on the clock. We'll have a baller's possession here as soon as everybody's set. Swearington in the game. And that's Eddie Sims handling the ball right there. We got Joe Bird in the game now. Down to McElway. Puts up the little dump off shot and that'll rattle in for him. 46 to 47. And Shabazz with the long two point shot. Stephen McDonald credited with the assist on that play. Back come the ballers. Down by three with 17 seconds left to go in this, uh, this first half. And there will be a whistle on the play there. Xavier Johnson drew that foul. And the inbounds... Come in right about now. Nope, they dump it down low. Shot up. It looks like it might have been tipped. And it'll get lost out of bounds by the ballers. I'm not sure if that was McElway or if that was Johnson who lost it. But here comes Eldridge. Passes to the corner. Harris with the three-point shot. Now they lead by six in the closing moments of the second quarter. I'm not sure what's happening with the clock. That is not correct. But we got Johnson handling at the top of the key. Shoots the three. Takes a bounce. And just hoops ends up with it. But the ballers don't quit. That shot will go down for Eddie Sims. And here comes just hoops. And I believe this will be the closing seconds of the game. Another interception. That half-court shot by Stephen McDonald. And I apologize for the clock, folks. 48 to 52. Just Hoops win is winning right now at halftime. Stay tuned. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What up? What up, man? What's up? What's up with you? What's up, man? How you getting, man? I'm ready for military. I don't know what's going on. I would fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like they forced you to. Set up. Like, it's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He 
he would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last year. All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. Here we are getting ready for the start of the third quarter. Just hoops. They lead 52 to 48 over the ballers and they will start with possession here. I will call out the substitutions as I recognize them here. So we have Milligan passing it over to McDonald gets it down low. That shot no good. Gets his own rebound back. That's Chris Garcia. And he draws all kinds of contact underneath the rim. So he will get his first shot at the line. That sh first shot is good. He gets ready for the second shot and hard off the back of the rim. Here comes Derek Williams. Top of the key using that pick. McElway puts the ball on the floor, gets into the lane, passes it out. That's Anderson on that shot and that'll drop for him. Eldridge handles, uses that pick. Top of the key, three point shot and that one will drop. It's been a back and forth battle all game. K on this right side wing. Stops his dribble, passes it back to Williams. Using that pick, going around. Dan Daniel Williams fakes the shot, lets the defender pass him, and then sinks the three. And. Milligan passes over to Eldridge, who eventually goes baseline for the and one attempt. And he is showing high intensity. Just like his former college coach said. And he converts three point play. The ballers are down by four. Four, I'm sorry, five at this point. As a whip whistle will stop everything real quick. Inbound the K, puts up the floater, no good. McElway put back. He grabs that offensive rebound and gets two points for himself there. Eldridge puts the ball on the floor. Gets all the way down to the rack and he puts in an easy bucket. Kay almost loses it in the backcourt. Lost his dribble, but Daniel Williams right there. He loses it. And Derek Williams comes up with it. I'm sorry to laugh. That was just a that was a hard sequence there. And we'll have a whistle bringing it back the other way now. McDonald. Passes it out to the baseline. Harris with the shot and a hand in his face and he still drops it. Just under eight minutes to go in the third quarter here. Williams gets it back on that far side wing. 
McElway rolls with them, but they kick it out the other way. Anderson puts the ball on the floor, gets in the lane, short on that layup, and Daniel Williams misses the putback. It'll be out of bounds. It'll stay with the ballers. McDonald sits, and here comes, I believe that's Williams Jr., Shot is up. K misses that one short from the baseline on that far left side. They will call a foul and send K right to the line. First shot is up and short. Second shot. That one is good. We'll have a third free throw. He was fouled beyond the line, I guess. I thought it was going to be a long two-point shot initially, but third shot is up, and that one's good. Back of the rim and down. We've had some substitutions, I believe, here. Shabazz back in the game. Milligan kicks it out for Eldridge. He tries to put the ball on the floor. He stops at the top of the key, brings it back, uses that pick. Fakes the shot, tried to get it into Shabazz, but it's intercepted. And there's going to be a travel call. It might be Anderson. So back to just hoops. Inbound to Eldridge. A little bit of contact in the backcourt there. Eldridge brings it up, shoots the three-pointer. It falls short. K with the rebound, controlling, gets it over to Daniel Williams, over into the corner for Anderson, and K with the small little dump off pass, or, I'm sorry, shot, misses it, putbacks are missed, McElway is still fighting down there, and he'll go to the line. Two shots, I believe, that basket did not count. Everybody's set now. McElway's first shot. Off the back of the rim to the front of the rim and then out. McDonald checks back in for Milligan. McElway's second shot off the back of the rim. Harris with the rebound. McDonald handles. He tries to beat the defense back, but... An errant pass goes into the hands of his teammate. It doesn't matter because they stopped. And Shabazz takes the inbound. Putting on some moves and then loses it out of bounds. Will it stay with just hoops? It will. And Williams Jr. at the top of the key. Shoots the three-point shot and drains it. Just hoops up by seven now. 6.33 left to go in the third quarter. And Sims with the ball in the lane. And a soft little layup goes right down for him. McDonald controls the ball. Left side wing. Dumps it down. And Eldridge puts on a little spin move. Loses the ball, and I think it stays with just hoops. Again, it's off on the ballers, but Eldridge gets it back, puts it up right away. And K brings it up, gives it to Sims. Sims over to Anderson, puts up the three-point shot, had a hand in his face, missed it. K gets another rebound, put back no good, and finally tips it in. Sims did get a shot in that sequence there. And Williams Jr. taking on Daniel Williams. Gets the pass down into the lane. No good. Anderson all the way back. No good that way. DK Eldridge passes it up to Shabazz. And the easy bucket. It's 
fast paced action right now. I wonder if they could keep it up with five minutes left to go in the game in, in the third quarter here. Sims puts the ball on the floor, gets in the lane. No good. It was in and out. He gets it back and puts on a ball fake, gets blocked. Anderson comes up with it. Down the lane, no good. And finally the putback. And that was Anderson's. He just kept fighting on that play. And we'll have a stop and play. 68 to 71, just hoops out in front with 448 left to go in the third quarter. On the court right now, we have Eldridge, McDonald, Williams Jr., Shabazz, and Harris for just hoops. For the ballers, we have Swearington, we have Walton, we have Jobert. Eddie Sims and McDonald won't lose that dribble there he puts up the three-point shot it's a little bit strong soft off the backboard here comes the ballers McElway soft off the front of the rim but chased down by just hoops and they'll keep this possession I believe That rebound will end up going to McDonald. Inbound to Eldridge. He's directing traffic, backing down his opponent. Spin fadeaway shot, no good. Sims gets tripped up with Eldridge. No injuries there, thank goodness. That looked like it was going to be a nasty little tie up there. Sims with the ball. Over to Walton, puts the ball on the floor, gives it back to Sims. Swearington looking for the pass. Sims takes the shot though. And there's a whistle on the play. Sims will step to the line. First shot is good. And the second shot wheels around and it's a miss out to McDonald. He tries to get the pass in there hard, but it gets deflected and Shabazz checks it down. Is it going to be a backcourt or is it going to be... Oh, someone's down over there. Let's see who that is. We'll see what's happening here. Sims took a shot and it was off camera. I didn't see it. But the inbounds now for Eldridge. He directs some traffic, brings Williams Jr. around, top of the key. Shot from about 15 feet. He went up a little bit strong, but there's a whistle on that play. Sixty-nine to seventy-one, just hoops in the lead now, and they have the possession here at the line. Williams Jr.'s first shot, and that will hit the back of the rim and down. Second shot incoming. 
And that one falls for him there. Xavier Johnson with the ball. He gets it down low to Swearington. Easy bucket. 71 to 73. The ballers are fighting back right now. They're getting physical out there. And Joe Burt knocks McDonald right out of bounds. So they'll keep the ball inbound to Eldridge, who gives it back. He crosses half court, gives it over to Williams Jr., takes the three point shot. Shabazz almost kept it alive. Out of bounds to the ballers. 326 left to go in the third. An immediate pass over to Swearington with a jumper to follow, and it misses. Williams Jr. gets right down into the lane. They are back quick in transition. And we have Dade back in right now. And Ransom checks in for Shabazz. Williams to the line. And that one is good. Xavier Johnson passes all the way down into the paint, but nobody home. Pass intended for Swearington. McDonald brings it up. Swearington right in his face. Uses that pick from Ransom, gets it into the paint. And two points for Dade. Joshua Swearington puts the ball on the floor, tries to get into the paint, lots of contact. Just Hoops comes away with it, and all the way back, and Dade will get the transition basket. 71 to 80, 244 left to go in the third. Inbound to K. He takes the three-point shot. No good. Rebound for Eldridge. Gives it over to McDonald, who passes it right to a cutting Williams Jr. And he hit the floor a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. They're going to help him up. That's a good sign. It's all right, young man. You can take your time after hitting the floor like that. He'll step to the free throw line again. Now that everybody's set, his first shot. And that one's good. He looks like he's feeling a little bit of pain still. We have Derek Williams checking into the game now. That second shot from Williams Jr. That'll fall for him. TJ Williams Jr. will probably take a seat. No, he'll stay in the game. <clears throat> Derek Williams brings the ball up. Daniel Williams back in the game. McElway on the pick and roll. He gets into the low block there. And a little hook shot will go down for him over Ransom. Here comes McDonald with the ball. Finds a cutting Williams who gets it down into the low block for... William Ransom. Two points for two more points for Ransom. Anderson over on the 
baseline, kicks it into McElway, misses that fadeaway shot from about six feet. Here comes Just Hoops, an 11 point lead now, looking to build on it and Williams will lose it out of bounds, Williams Jr. Seventy-three to eighty-four, just hoops with one thirty-six left to go, and K will inbound this one to Derek Williams, pressured by Milligan, who's back in now. Eddie Williams, I'm sorry, Daniel Williams, Eddie Williams. There is no Eddie Williams. There's a lot of Williams, but that was Daniel Williams, and a whistle on that play. First shot goes down for Daniel Williams. And the second shot. That one goes back of the rim and down for him. Milligan brings the ball. Past half court now. There's McDonald on the far right side. He takes the long shot. Miss on that three-pointer. Ransom stays active down low. Puts on a little a one dribble and gets inside for his next two points. Derek Williams uses that pick. Stop. Doesn't take the shot. Kicks it out. No good from K. Ransom with the ball. He brings it past half court and loses it. McElway saves it from going out of bounds and long shot three pointer, no good. All the way down, Dade gets the easy bucket. Just Hoops is winning in transition right now. They're living there. And Daniel Williams puts the ball on the floor after a couple of fakes. Goes up a little hard, but McElway, he goes back up. And this will be a three-point play attempt. McElway. Takes the free one. That shot soft off the front of the rim. McDonald brings it back. Uses the pick. Goes all the way to the hole and he finally, it gave him a nice friendly bounce. 90 to 77. Derek Williams has it. Pressured all the way from Milligan. Uses that pick from McElway. Kicks it over to K. Puts on the dribble moves at the line. Gives it up to Anderson in the corner. Back to K. Shot from inside the paint goes down for him. And just hoops. Leading by 11. Long shot. And that'll go down. Was that, was that Harris? Cedric Harris with the long three-point shot there. Anderson comes right back. Down into the lane. There's a whistle on the play. With one second left, we will have a an and-one attempt here. What a play that was. The ballers are trying to match that transition energy. And that shot good. It looks like we'll have more than one second here in the third quarter. I'm not sure what's happening with the clock here. But we got McDonald with the ball. He's getting pressure. He puts on the dribble moves, gets into the lane, goes all the way down and goes over the top of everybody. And that should be the last shot of the third quarter. 
There you have the th end of the third quarter, 95 to 82. Just hoops. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful and give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Welcome back, one and all, for the start of the fourth quarter. Just Hoops leading right now, 95 to 82. As we wait for everybody to be set here. And the inbounds to Derek Williams. Milligan pestering him even before the half court line. Williams gets it back from Anderson, gives it back to Anderson, shot at the top of the key, it rolls around and out. Ransom with that rebound. Milligan controls. Uses the pick, but gets around, pops up a shot, no good. And a quick little tie up over there, stays with the ballers, over to Anderson who takes the three and drops it. Here comes Eldridge with the ball. Using that pick, doesn't use that pick. Now he does and Ransom gets down underneath but the ball didn't come to him. Harris has got it. He's in the paint. Fades his way out of there and sinks the shot from about five, six feet away. K with the ball. McElroy, McElway sets the pick but K loses it and the Showtime Dunk from DK Elridge. Just Hoops leading by a large margin. I wouldn't suppose that wouldn't be so bad for him to Showtime Dunk it like that, but Ballers lose it on the other end. Well, lots of discussion happening in the gym right there. I'm not sure what that's about. Are we going to have a jump ball? I'm not sure how that worked, but we're going to have a jump ball with 837 left here. And the ballers are down by 14 points. There's still time. K jumps against Ransom, and Ransom wins that, that tip off. And Eldridge passes it over to Harris for the long shot. He misses it. Back come the ballers in transition. They lose it underneath. Eldridge comes away with it, kicks it out. And Milligan gets right down underneath the basket for an easy two points. Out of bounds to just hoops. The ballers are falling apart right now. Cedric Harris with it. He puts on a fadeaway shot from the elbow, and it's no good. It looked like a kickball from Ransom, but they didn't call that. Milligan gets into the lane, falls short. Eldridge gets it, puts it up, no good. Dade tried to dunk it off that rebound and came up empty. It'll be out of bounds. Baller's possession. Derek Williams will bring it up. Saving that clock as much as possible. 
Gets it back on the wing. Passes it over to McElway. Anderson has it now. Puts on the dribble. Gets it into the lane for McElway who finishes it the right way. And here come Just Hoops. Eldridge surveying the floor. Doesn't use that pick. Harris gets it over and down to the low block for Ransom, who gets a whistle. He tried to wrap it around, but got a little bit of contact instead. His first shot. And that one will dance off the rim for him. No good. McDonald is back in the game now. Harris will sit. And the second shot was an air ball. Does he get a do-over on the air ball? It seems like that's what ha what's happening here. It's the first time I've ever seen a do-over. But he missed that one short too. That time it was off the right side of the ring. And Swearington misses that layup. McDonald handles the ball, brings it past half court, bounces it down into the lane. And that's two more points for... Just hoops. We got another whistle stopping the clock here. The ballers need to start doing something here. Sims comes in. Pressured by Milligan. Doesn't go anywhere once he gets to the lane, but kicks it out for Jobert. Jobert passes it over. Can't see who that was over there. Sims has it right now. Shot from inside the paint, and that one will fall. 89 to 103. The ballers have some points to make up here. Ransom gets the ball past half court for McDonald. He's in the lane and a whistle on the other end. McDonald will see the free throw line. Steven McDonald. Everybody's set now. And he makes the first shot. And we have a couple of substitutions. Xavier Johnson checks in. Cedric Webb checks in for just hoops. Xavier Johnson is checking in for the ballers. And there we go. Johnson cross court. And they'll lose it out on the other side. That looks like Sims over there. Just Hoops will have possession now. McDonald takes it. Pressured by Walton in the backcourt. Gets past half court. Eldridge. He kept everybody away from him. And Ransom lost it. No call. And Johnson passes it too hard. Out of bounds. Back to Just Hoops. The turnovers are starting to end the game for them here. A little under six minutes left to go. And there's a little bit of tie up in the lane out of bounds. Baller's possession. Joshua Swearington inbounds it. Sims with it now. He gets into the lane. He has no fear. He just goes after the contact. He will get it. And 
And he'll have two shots. Once everybody's ready. There's the first one. It's good. And we'll have another substitution here. Second shot up and good. And just hoops. Long inbound shot to their center who is standing at half court. McDonald with it. Puts the ball on the floor. Leaves a pretty little dish out there. The shot no good. But then Dade stays busy. And right down easy bucket for Walton. McDonald has it. Double covered in the backcourt. He gets past it. Dishes the ball down low, but it'll be out of bounds. And will it stay with just hoops? It will. Dade will inbound the ball. And Eldridge kicks it inside and then up top. Top of the key for Ransom. Gives it over to McDonald. McDonald dumps it off for Eldridge, who takes a fadeaway shot on the baseline. It's too hard. And right back down for the easy bucket for Walton. They're starting to climb back in it. They have enough time right now. And Webb right down the lane. No good. And Ransom didn't get the put back, but... Here come the ballers and Joshua Swearington right down the lane. It's going to be an offensive foul. What happened here? I didn't see what... I thought that looked like a... A shooting foul. And it'll, it'll go to the ballers. Johnson with the shot. It's short. Garcia with the rebound. Webb handling the ball now. Swearington checks him up. McDonald putting on the moves. Doesn't use that pick. Instead takes the fadeaway shot. Misses it hard off the backboard. Sims comes right back down the lane. He tries to dunk it but missed that one. He bricked it. And Williams Jr. gets all the way back, but there was a whistle before the play. That shot's not going to count. And we got 4-10 left to go in the game. The baller's down by 12. There's still time. Just hoops with it right now, and Webb loses it down low. Walton gets it up into Swearington, who dishes it off to Sims, and he finally gets one to drop there. And we have another whistle. Baller's down by 10. Inbound to Eldridge. DK Eldridge uses, doesn't get that pick, but he gets around the defense either way. Off the backboard, Harris still fighting for it. Over to Eldridge. Takes the three-point shot from the baseline. No good. Garcia misses that tip back. Here come the ballers. And it's intercepted on the outlet pass. Here come, well, I guess we'll stop play there. Still a pretty competitive game, even though there's a 10-point lead. And just hoops will look to inbound the ball once everybody's all set here. Swearington will take a seat. And number four. DeMarquez had not checks into the game for the first time. 
Here comes Williams Jr. TJ Williams Jr. Webb gets it over to Garcia in the lane. Nice easy bucket. And Sims draws the contact. He is reaching for the basket on every play. And his first shot from the line, that one is good. And his second shot, that one is good. 99 to 109. And Webb loses the ball. Sims puts the around the back dribble on. Misses that layup, but they still got it. Kick out to the baseline for three. No good. Walton in the lane. Puts it up. Draws the whistle. And the shot will fall. Three-point play attempt for Walton. That's Cortland Walton. Down by eight with one more, one more shot. Just under three minutes left to go in the game. We're going to take a quick timeout. 109 to 108. 256 in the fourth quarter. As soon as everybody gets set here, Cortland Walton at the line. And he does not convert that three point play. Gets the rebound back though. Sims goes right into the paint. Johnson gets that. Kicks it all the way out. It winds, it winds all the way to the corner. No good on that three point shot. That play happened quick. TJ Williams Jr. sinks that three-point shot to answer back. And their Just Hoop squad is back up by 11. Right back down into the lane, though. 103 to 112. Hadnock passes it over to Johnson. Takes that three-pointer. No good. Step back three-pointer after that rebound. That one for Anderson. And here comes Just Hoops. Garcia gets down deep. And two points for him on the easy bucket. That's a couple in a row for him now. Long shot. I'm not sure if that was a three or not, but that was had not. Pressuring McDonald, who gets into the lane. Tries to pass it over to Williams Jr., and it's out of bounds. Looks like we'll have a timeout on the play. No, we won't have a timeout. It was just out of bounds. Had not controlling. Gets into the lane. Kicks it all the way out to the right baseline. Corner three for Chris Jobert. 108 to 114 with 138 on the clock. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are. We're ready for the inbounds now. Fourth quarter, 136 left to go. The baller's down by six points. And Just Hoops has it right now. There's a whistle on the play.
there's going to be a foul shot. I guess Milligan was in the middle of a shot. So he'll have two at the stripe. He misses the first one. And we'll have some substitutions. Daniel Williams is in the game. McElway is in the game now. McElway with the rebound. There's Hadnot with the ball. Intercepted by McDonald. He tried to get the pass. Hadnot tried to get the pass into the corner, but McDonald gets the ball up there, and it's going to be a backcourt by DK Eldridge. One fourteen left on the clock, and that turnover is going to work in the favor of the ballers here if they could just convert another two points, two or three. And the inbounds to Sims. Milligan checks him. Sims goes right down into the lane. And he lays it in nice and easy. Nice athletic move there by Sims. And the full court presses on. And they get the ball right back. Had not kicks it out to the right side in the baseline three-point shot for Daniel Williams the ballers are down by one they have fought back in this game with 49 seconds 53 seconds we'll see how much time they put back on the clock here it's a nail-biter And we're going to have foul shots here. The first one will go in and then out. DK Eldridge misses that first foul shot. And we have Dade checking in for Chris Garcia. We have Cedric Harris back in the game now. Second shot is up. No good. Too hard off the rim. McElway with the rebound. And here comes Sims. 40 seconds left. Game on the line here. He tries to get down into the lane. and Is it out of bounds or is there going to be a foul? I believe they said it was out of bounds. There's lots of contact. It looked like a foul to me, but the crowd clamoring for a foul on that one. It's going to stay with the ballers. Inbound the head knot. Another whistle. It's out of bounds. Is it out of bounds or is it It's a foul. It is a foul. Had not will take foul shots here. 33 seconds. We'll be back. Or we're going to stay with it. Here we are. Had not with that shot. The first one is good. Tying the game here in the fourth quarter. The second shot is good. Taking the lead. For the first time in a while. Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA.
And we're back. The crowd is getting out of hand here. 115 to 114. 31 seconds left to go. The ballers have just taken the lead. Just hoops. McDonald has the ball now. Putting the dribbles on. Getting into the lane. Draws a whistle. That foul on had not. Twenty four seconds left to go. Still plenty of game with this discrepancy in the score here. And McDonald misses the first one. Can't afford to give him away right now. Second shot is good. And we're going to have another whistle here. I didn't see exactly what happened. I'm not sure if it's a, a foul or an out of bounds. It'll stay with just hoops. Inbound to Eldridge. The clock is ticking. Eldridge tries to put the ball on the floor. It doesn't go anywhere. He's stuck at the top of the key. Puts on the moves. Fadeaway shot from the elbow. No good. Rebound for McElway. Jober passes over to Sims. They're playing keep away right now. Sims takes the long shot. No good. 115 to 115 at the end of the fourth quarter. And we will go into overtime, folks. Stay tuned. Four minutes to go. It's been a heck of a game so far. We'll hear what's going on inside the huddle there. McDonald being a, an emotional leader right there. At the start of overtime, it looks like Just Hoops will have Cedric Harris... We have Jonathan Milligan, Stephen McDonald, as Just Hoops wins. Uh, but Ballers won that tip off. Ballers playing hard now, dumps it down into the paint, gives it back for Derek Williams for three, no good. Chased it down was Stephen McDonald. Just Hoops coming right back down. He, uh, he lost his dribble out of bounds. So turnover just hoops. And the ballers have another chance to take the lead away here in overtime. Williams passes over into the far right side here. That's Daniel Williams. Puts the ball on the floor. Tries the reverse layup and missed it. He went up a little strong. Anderson saves the ball. Gives it back out to Derek Williams. And K gets the ball at the top of the key. And McDonald strips it away. There's a whistle in transition here. We'll see what happened. We'll see what happened. These two teams are battling with each other. The score deadlocked at 115. And just hoops to inbound the ball. McDonald gets it now. Over to Harris. Takes a long three-point shot. No good. He went up a little strong. Williams controlling. 
Top of the key. Passes it over to K. That was a long two-pointer, I believe. It sure was. McDonald passes the ball down low for, for Dade. Two points for Dade. And they'll keep it tied. 117s. Williams. Drops it down for K. He's in he's in the paint, kicks it out. Anderson throws it over into the corner for Williams. That's Daniel Williams. He gets to the rack one more time and it goes down. Ballers up by two with 2.13 left to go in this first overtime. And McDonald gets into the lane and a whistle. I'm not sure who that, that foul was on. It might be Anderson. And there we go with another shot of the scoreboard. 119 to 117. The ballers are up. First shot is good. McDonald at the line for his second shot now. And the shot is good. So we are knotted up at 119. Kay kicks it over to Williams. Williams takes the pick, doesn't take the pick. He tries to go baseline, puts up a long shot. It was probably a two-pointer. But there's a whistle on the play there. And Williams, Derek Williams, will step to the line. He'll try to break the tie here with his first shot. And that shot was a little bit... A little bit long. It went hard off the back of the rim. And he'll take a second shot. One more opportunity to break this tie. And that one goes down for him. The Ballers have a one point lead. Eldridge with the ball. K checks him at the top. Eldridge gets down into the paint. Whistle again. And Eldridge hits the deck. So Eldridge will get another look at the free throw line here. First shot is good. And the second shot, that one is in and out. And Dade chases that one down. And there's going to be another whistle. And Just Hoops is in get it done mode right now. The one point lead and chasing down the offensive rebound. And Dade will shake it off. I'm not sure what's going on with the scoreboard. I'm pretty sure that Just Hoops is up by one here. Dade's first shot goes in. The second shot off the rim and rebounded by McElway and Derek Williams with the ball there's a whistle on the play it looks like a bad bad screen there set by McElway no it stays with the ballers there's a one point lead officially I think it's only a, I think it's a two point lead at this point, but up on the scoreboard, there's a one point lead for the 
Just Hoop Squad as McElway fails to tie it up there on that first foul shot. McElway's second shot. And that one's no good. K tracks down a rebound. Tries to throw it off of McDonald and it misses McDonald. So it'll be out of bounds on the ballers. And no, it'll stay with the ballers. That worked. It'll go off of Stephen McDonald's. McDonald. And the ballers to inbound now. McElway gets his pass broken up, but he still taps it out to Anderson. They are fighting hard here with less than 20 seconds to go. Williams with the ball. Derek Williams uses the pick from McElway. Gets into the lane. Kicks it out into the corner for three from Daniel Williams. Derek Williams gets it back. Fires it right up. No good. And that'll be the end of the game. There's your final score, folks. 121 to 120. Dallas Fort Worth just hoops beat better late than never ballers by one point in overtime. For the PBA and Triangle by 1891, I am Jimmy Berger. Thank you so much for joining us. One last look at the scoreboard there. One more time, 121 to 120. Have a great weekend, folks. Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA.